friends. Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hey, is it raining by your house? Yes, it is. Here too. I was thinking, man, may, uh, maybe a big storm, but right now it's a little bit, only a little bit of rain. Yeah, it's raining a lot of water. Yes, here like 30, maybe 40 minutes ago, very strong, very strong the rain. Luis, where is it that you live? Um, Mexicano City. Mexicanos, okay, Mexicano. Uh, Main Street, uh, uh, Bernal Street. Well, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Between Bernal Street and Calle El Volcán. Okay. You know what is it? I do. I used to live in Mexicanos. Ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Many, many years ago, maybe almost almost 20 years ago, Luis. Almost 20 years ago, I used to live in Mexicanos. Wow. The downtown Mexicanos, right? No, no. no. Oh, outside, right outside of Mexicanos, near the near the uh where the six where the six uh see the bus the end of the bus the route there uh -huh. after the when you go to the market and then you go up the hill uh-huh uh-huh there okay. colonia sacamilo where is the name huh In the oh. colonia sacamilo do you, do you remember the name i don't remember but it's not colonia sacamilo it's the one um before the church of um Frown Harward Frown. Yeah. Frown Harward. I, I don't know this ferroteria Frown in Mexicanos. Frown Vidri, I think was the one, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Nuri, Gino, Roxana, how are you guys? How was your day? Pretty good. Fine, teacher. Yes. It was great, teacher. Thanks. I'm practically neighbors with this. Hey, really? You live near Mexicanos? Yeah, I live uh, on the Bernal Avenue near La Casa del Huevo. Oh, okay. Luis, do you know? Yeah, yes, I know the Casa del Huevo house. <laughs> But this is uh, Calle Bernal, uh, you know. Yeah, right? that's the one. Aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, in front of uh, that, that egg house or home, uh, there, there is an a office of the local government, right? Oh, yeah, yes. yes. New, uh, it's a new. Like a new park. Uh, uh -huh. From the municipality. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just right next to it. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I know what is it. Yeah. Next to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. It's like neighbors. It's almost yeah, like neighbors. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's frequently running on the uh, satellite park. Do you know? You know. The park is ah, I, you go running there? Uh huh. Oh, nice. What time do you go running? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What time do you, do you go? Maybe in the afternoon. It's frequency to go. Uh -huh. and you go and check, Gino. Yeah. To see if it's true. To say, hey, <laughs> Luis, I didn't. You are a liar. You are a liar, Luis. <laughs> no, you're not, not a liar. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's true. I, I believe Luis. I believe Luis. <laughs> uh, in, in that. Uh, last module, he said he, he was running in the cyclovia, so I believe him. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but in, in the in the Sunday, I run on the cyclovia, right? But during the uh, Monday to uh, from Monday to Friday, I visited the the Parque Satellite. Ah, okay, okay. Very healthy, very good. That's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Nuri? Do you do any uh, any exercise, walking in the park or anything like that? So 
some time to chill. But not normal. Do you do you hear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, sometime I I go for a walk. Okay. Okay. And when you go for a walk, do you listen to music? Do you listen to books? It, only walking. What What do you do, Nuri? No. No. Only walk. Okay. All right. The reason I mention is because one way to increase your vocabulary is when you are walking in the park or when you are doing something, begin listening to audiobooks, audiobooks in English. Yeah. And that way you can start imagining you are in the park, you are walking, you are using the time for two things. One, for your exercise, which is normal, but also to practice your listening, to practice your imagination, the vocabulary, all of these different things. So, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. Good, because to be honest, it's difficult, it's difficult to read a book or it's difficult to speak with other people outside of the class. But the one thing you can do is the listening. You can practice and practice and practice more listening when you are doing the different activities. Yeah, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, Doris, Roxana, everything okay? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. So we are ready for today? Yes, yes. All right. So before we begin, what was a couple, we saw two things yesterday that were important. They were important for our reading. What are the two things that we need to remember and learn from the reading? Uh, read read the, the answer first. Okay, always read the questions first, exactly, uh-huh. Uh-huh, and uh, we don't need to read uh, all the articles. Okay, exactly. Now, this is especially important when you have difficulties or you have things that are going to be a lot of readings and you see that your time is, you are losing the time and you need to check your time. You say, oh man, I, I need to go quickly, 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 okay. So today, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that it's clear and that we understand everything. I'm going to share my screen with you. And then we're going to take a look at the readings quickly, just to be sure, and then continue on with the next one. These are the questions from yesterday. Yesterday, we did negative factual information, okay? If you remember all of these about anthropology and the documents, the accept, remember that one of the strategies is when you see the word except, that means that you look for these words or the synonym, because that means that they, three of them are going to be in the reading. You are going to find three of them, the minimum. So the others are the ones that you want to look at, do not mention them. And that's going to be easier for you to get a better idea to go quickly. It's okay? Yes. Yes. All right. Now, those are for the ones that were the negative. Today, we're going to be going on to the factual information, right? These are the ones where we have a lot of information. Um, one of the things that they try to confuse you with, and this is very important to ignore, one way to make the reading difficult is by giving you a lot of data, a lot of information you don't need. Mm -hmm. Now, how do they give you the data? They give you number, 14 years, 1927, 90%, 450%, uh, under the uh, 500 foot. They give you a lot of information. But if you are reading here, here, okay, only one of them, only one of them requires a number. So you need to look which achievements did Borgram pride himself on. And it's very easy. Ah, you can identify the things with the data. Most of them, you don't need the numbers only if it's specific question. So in this moment, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna practice the uh, five questions. We have two readings, reading number one, and then reading number two. And we wanna answer the questions. The first part, reading number one, take your time, make sure you read it carefully, then look which ones do you think is, or which one do you believe is the correct answer? If you and your partner don't agree, it's okay. You don't have to agree. 
but you have to be able to express why you believe that is the answer. Okay? Okay. All right. So right now we're going to go with our partners. We're going to go to the section one reading, factual information, factual information. Okay? We're gonna make groups and we're gonna put them together. Any questions before we begin? Okay, not right now. Not right now? No. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's give you a few moments. Let's go.
Ivania, everything okay? Mirna, you okay? Mirna, I'm going to put you into the groups, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, teacher. Excellent.
All right. How did we do, Ivania? How did we do, Alex? We finished? Yes, no problem. Yes, we finished. All right, excellent. Ivania, can you please tell me in the first article, summarize the article in your own words? About what point? What uh, factual information? About factual information. The, uh, the article about every year, uh, the people visit run Mount Rushmore. Tell me in your own words, if you oh. were explaining to me, what did you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't read uh, that because I, I uh, entered later to the, to the class. No so. problem, Ivania. That's excellent. It's excellent, Ivania. No problem. Ivania, select one person that they are going to explain to us the first article. Okay, my group, maybe Kalena. <laughs> Kalena, all right, excellent. Kalena has to explain. I knew it, Ivania, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> because Ivania is your friend. Ivania is the good friend. He wants you to, yes, practice, I know. Wants you to practice more English. Mm -hmm. He's Alex Technic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the, uh, the article talk about uh, that mountain has, that has a face um, grabada or mm -mm. In sculpt, a interview, it's yes. like sculpting faces of the president of the U.S. Uh, about the, the, the actual situation, uh, the how how they are how they the 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 environment affect them and and i don't remember <laughs> okay it's okay sir. it's like it's okay kalena it's no uh -huh. problem the important is that we are taking and i want not only the yes, you, we are the article is reading, but I also want to make sure that we work on your speaking abilities. There are three mistakes that you made. Uh, one is very, very common for Spanish speakers, which is the word actually, actually is not actualmente, actually is current or currently. This oh. is the, this is the, the word actually is en realidad. So when you say actually, you're saying en realidad for the time. I, I, I try to, to say act. Actually, uh -huh. it's like at the present. Actual, no, no existe act, actualmente. Act. Yes, at yes, yes. Actualmente, actualmente is. You can look in the chat. In the chat, I'm putting the vocabulary for you. Is currently. Currency. Okay. Yes. Currently. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, the present, teacher. This is all in the present. Nowadays Currency. or others, exactly. There or at the moment, teacher. Um. At the moment is good, a, a little bit different, but yes, the, for example, currently, currently uh, uh, iPhones are very popular, okay? This is currently, but at the moment is, uh, at the moment Alex is drinking uh, juice. This is specifically not in the time that we are. For example, currently Russia is fighting with Ukraine, but not actually. No, or, or this is the idea because actually is in reality. Okay. Okay. Uh, Teacher, yes. I have a question about the, the exercise. And I remember that you said yesterday that uh, you don't need to read all the paragraph to answer the, the this, these uh, questions. But, but I tried, uh, today I tried to answer uh, without reading all the paragraph and I have problems and to choose the correct answer. And I don't know if it's possible or no, for me it's not possible. And uh, I found the answer, but not, not uh, to, to follow your piece of advice. And I, I, and it was difficult for me, I don't know. It's okay, Roxy. Remember, is that there's a difference. The difference is that you are going to be taking a pies. This is called the tofu. Uh, a toy. It's just like a pies. You have a time. 
you don't have time to analyze. You don't have time to take and relax and think about it. That's the difference. For your understanding, you say, ah, I want to understand the article, but this is not the objective. The objective is to answer as many questions as you can within the time. Because okay. you are not going to be an environmentalist. You are not going to be a historian. So it's different. It's different the focus because this is an academic focus specifically for a test. This is specifically, it's like, a, it's like preparing for a job interview. If, if we prepare for a job interview, we have completely different questions and different topics because we only care about the job interview. In the job interview, no, it's not going to be what clothes do you like? What's your favorite food? What? No, that is completely different. The same thing here. This is um, one of Luis's questions from yesterday. Luis asked about the skimming and scanning. And this is one of the techniques to help you to answer questions faster. The technique is read the question and read the possible answers. And then in the article, you don't have to read all of it, but you are scanning for this specific information to identify. Now, if for you it's difficult, it's not a problem because remember, it's a skill that you develop. Little by little, you practice to go faster and faster. That is the objective. Because okay. it is for the time. The problem is, the big problem in the exam is the time. Many people do not finish the test because I know they, they are reading and reading and they are thinking that I have to understand. You don't have to understand. You have to identify is different. You have um, to identify the answers, not understand the content. And, and it doesn't matter if you got uh, many questions in the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know. The, you don't the, pass the, the test, right? You don't know. You, you, the test the idea is to get as many questions correctly. So if for you, you in the technique of skimming and scamming, you're going to have many wrong, is better read and have a few correct than answer many and answer them wrong. It's, it's about the numbers. The important is the focus is the numbers, the most correct. That's what you want to try to get the okay. most correct. Using the technique. Using the technique that works for you. Remember, okay. there are many techniques. Like in the restaurant, there are many items. You don't eat all of the food in the restaurant, but is there to help you for what you need. The same for the techniques. Not all the techniques is for you, but there are many that you can develop and to help you study and learn more. Okay. Okay. So in the end, Kalena, what was the answer to number one? Because you explain, but never tell us the answer. First <laughs> is letter D. Letter D. D. Thank you. Letter D. All right, Kalena. Excellent. Kalena, select the next person. They're going to tell us number two. Who is the next person? Uh, the next person is obviously Alexander. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Alexander. <laughs> How are you? Good. All right. Good, 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 Alex. All right. Okay. The number two is uh, D, repair periodically. Oh, okay. All right. Good. No. no. Teacher, sorry. Sorry. The first one is C. C, his safety oh. record. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm good. sorry. I apologize. Letter C. No problem. The number no one, letter C. Safety record. Oh, no. Okay. Kalena, let her see. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's okay. Making sure. Making sure. All right, Alex, select the person that's going to explain this article. Okay. My friend, Ivania. Ivania is going to explain <laughs> the article. Okay. Excellent. All right, Ivania, explain to us. Um... Okay, uh, it is about uh, archaeological sites. Um, name uh, Teotihuacan. And um, it's like, a, a, I can't explain. You can explain, Anna, don't worry. It's normal. Mistakes are part of the process. It's normal. 
Tell me in your own words, no problem. Um, it's like, uh, it's related to, uh, to a, a religious, like a religious site. Okay. Um, uh, and it is like a, a pyramidal. Okay, a pyramid? Yeah. A what? Yeah, I, I think pyramid. Pyramid. Pyramid, okay. Right. So Ivania, what do you think is number one? What would be the answer uh, for there? Number mm, one. Number one, according to the pleasure, let me get that, see, um, letter D. D. Is the, this spelling is not correct. Don't worry, Ivania. The spelling, it should be da. The city greatly influenced da surrounding areas. Okay. It's not a new vocabulary. It's not new vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. In the New York Island. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Ivania, select number two. Who is going to answer number two? Um, number two, my friend Marvin. Marvin. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. We have we have a lot of friends in this class. I like it. I like it. <laughs> we are a friendship all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, it is uh, the letter D. The cause of the decline is uncertain. Good. Pronunciation, uncertain. 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 Okay. Uncertain. Good. Good. Select number three. Who's going to answer number three? Um, let me see. Uh, Nuri. Excellent. Look, Nuri was, oh, was sleeping. It's time to wake up. Excellent. All right, Nuri. <laughs> Not teacher, I couldn't do the second part. No, the second Can I part? help? Yes, her? please, please. It's the letter D also. Also the letter D. Yeah. Okay, Roxy, can you read the sentence? Indicated the, that the city layout was planned before building began. Okay, good. Layout is like the blueprint, yeah. is like the design. So the oh. layouts, the construction, this is the, that it was planned, okay. So what do we have? Very good. All of the answers, huh? they tried to trick you, but no, look, <laughs> first one. only the first one was letter C, exactly. Now, remember, the most important is that in, in order to do good or to do well on the reading, you need two things. You need to watch your time, and you do need to make sure that you increase your vocabulary. If you notice when you are reading, there are many words that you maybe you understand, but together is confusing, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the objective. The objective of the exam is to confuse you and to make you think and to make you use to see, to analyze. The only way to improve is with more reading. So if you are really going to take the exam for, for the scholarship, for visa, for different purpose, is necessary to practice more reading. If it's only for finishing the course, it's no problem, it's no problem. But if the idea is to go, you need to practice not reading, for example, not reading the subtitles in Netflix, not reading uh, movies. Mm -hmm. You need to practice reading academically, reading about solar panels, reading about history, reading about art, because it's very common in the TOEFL exam, uh, reading history, reading, the pyramids, reading about uh, Egypt, China, different countries, things like that. Okay. 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 All right. Great. Now we're going to go on to our next one. We have another activity there. Okay. Good. Here. Now here are the inference. Now in inference, as you can see, look, we have four questions, but only this. Only this is the idea. Now. Remember, what is the idea of inference? It's easy to remember. Inference, the information is not in the article. Is mm -hmm. not in the article because the idea is you have to interpret the idea. This is more difficult because you, you, you don't look for information. You only look for ideas to create the information. Okay? So, for example, if I say... Uh, Galena is 
uh, is throwing up every morning and Kalena uh, has very bright skin and she is, uh, her, the nose is affected. Ah, what is the interpretation? Kalena is pregnant. She's pregnant. <laughs> She's pregnant. Kalena is pregnant. But in the article, in the article doesn't say Kalena is pregnant. I have to use the information and interpret what the author is trying to say or what they want me to understand. Okay. okay. So now we're going to read the article with your partner. The article is a little small. You read it and then you answer the four questions and then we come back. Okay. Okay. Teacher. All right. One moment. <laughs> Thing. Let me close this one.
Okay, we are ready. Yes. Excellent. I love to hear that. <laughs> okay, let's take a moment and read together to make sure that it's clear. Who can read? Who would like to read? Me, okay. All right, okay. Alex. <laughs> okay, the Malabar pie hornet usually nests in the fruit trees that bear its food. First, the female enter a hole in the tree and shed her feather. Then she and her mate seal the hollow with mud and dung, leaving a crust throughout which feed, he feed her. When the chicks hatch and her promise return, she broke out, resealing the nest to guard the young, which emerge later. Ah, okay. Now, interesting, talking about the bird. So here, they don't say, but the malapid hornbill is probably a? Letter C. Letter C, a bird. Yes. Good. How do we interpret? Of course, we look through here and we say, ah, there is a nest, yes. right? Then we see that they talk about a tree. So then we have the other word for the tree. These are the for interpretation. Okay, good. What about number two? Who can answer number two? Gino. I think All number right, two Gino. Is, uh, letter A, because uh, for, for example, uh, the article doesn't imply that the, the bird loses its plumage because it's warm. Uh, and it says that the, it breaks out of the nest after the, the feathers turn. Okay. So right. I think it's letter A. Letter A. Sounds good. Good, good idea. It sounds good. All right. Great. What about number three? Who's number three, Gino? Uh, let me see. What about Luis? All right, Luis. Luis? Did Luis disappear? <laughs> uh, letter C, teacher. Sorry, no problem. No problem. Letter C, letter, letter C. I uh had -huh. the family purposely impression herself to lay her egg. Good, Luis. Only two pronunciations female, female. and in prisons. In prison. Okay, good. Good. Who's number four, Luis? Okay, let me uh, check the, the name. Um, oh my God. Doris. Doris. Oh, I didn't remember Doris was here. Okay, good. Doris. Story. <laughs> All right, Doris. Okay, the number four, the letter D. Doesn't hatch the eggs by keeping them warm with his own body. Okay, all right. And why, why Doris? Why letter D? I think that because uh, he's speaking about the seal. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's the idea. That means that he's in one side and she's in the other side. Exactly. Letter D, letter C, letter A, and letter B. The alphabet, A, B, C, D, only different order. Okay, good. Any questions on the three different ways that you have? Remember, these are three different things in the test. It's not only the reading. You have the looking for the negative factual this is, the, this is where you can use the technique of skimming and scanning easier because you are looking for the things that don't match, the one that is not there. Then the other form is for factual information. This is more difficult because this 
you have to look for the opposite. You have to look for all the information that's there and look for the one that is not, okay? Or the one that's missing there, specific information. And the inference, the information is not there, but you have to interpret. Those are the three types of questions that you normally get in the exam. It's okay for those three types of questions? Difficult teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. uh, in, my, in my case, the inference question in the beer exercise, uh, I don't have a lot of vocabulary. I, I didn't know a lot of vocabulary with the beer, for example. So. And it's very common. You are going to find a lot of readings that is not common the vocabulary. Although I don't know. <laughs> You have to imagine that the vocabulary is, remember that the focus of the TOEFL is not for your English level. The focus, okay. the focus, the objective of the test of, of English is for you to perform or to act in the academic level at the university. So that okay. is why, that's why you have a lot of vocabulary from many different areas because the idea is that you pass the exam to demonstrate that you can enter at the university level of the school. You can enter in the level where you listen to a lecture, you go to class, you make the report and you can participate. This is the function of the exam. Okay. Uh -huh. In El Salvador, we use the exam in Ministerio de Educación to check the English level to graduate from the university. Mm -hmm. In many universities, they say, ah, you need to pass the TOEFL. You need to pass the TOEIC with this score because it's the, the score that demonstrates you know English. Yes, you know English if you can pass, but that this is different level of English because this is academic English. It's not the English like me and you. Luis, how was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? This is the normal English. And the exam is completely different. Okay. 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 The clue yes. is read, right? Tell me, Gino. Read. Uh, I, I was wondering if you're saying that the exam is for like a two point study, right? I, I'm sorry, Gino. Can you can you speak louder one more time? So, so the exam uh, is for academic purposes, right? Correct. Yes. But what about for maybe like entry entry level jobs or, or something like that? The, the result of the exam like, uh, helps you to demonstrate your English level so you can get a job? Uh, is not common in, is, is common in El Salvador, yes. For many jobs or many people, uh, for companies here in El Salvador, yes. But it's not common in the United States. So it's, it, it's not common to ask you to, to demonstrate with this. Simply, they in the interview, when they do the interview in English, you already demonstrate that your English level. This is for functional, so something that's specific. So normally, is it has to do with the type of activity or the type of job you're going to do. So if you're going to be an accountant, if you're going to be an engineer, you need the academic English, not the common English. But if I'm going to go work in a, in a restaurant, I don't need academic. They don't care. They care communication English is different. So when they ask, for example, like C1 or C2 level English, they're asking for the academic level of the. They are. And the C1, the C2, exactly. That's the academic. And it's, it's a high level. It's like this exam, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1. So it's more or less like basic, intermediate, upper intermediate, and then C, you are getting to the advanced levels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. The most important is to remember the exam is different than real life. The exam is a function specifically for uh, the visas, for applying for immigration, for scholarship. It's a specific activity. It's like the same 
the same, the same as avanzo or pies. Avanzo is not speaking Spanish. If you can do the reading in avanzo, uh, Federic York, the reading, the article, the, is, this is not speaking Spanish. This is completely different than communication. The same thing for the toy. Okay. All right. So okay. now, any other questions? No. No. Oh. All right. Excellent. Now we continue to the reading practice test. Here we have a big reading article. You can see it's big. Yes, this, it's big. This is the reality. That is normally. Here is not complete. Here is only a small practice. In the reality, in the exam, you will have a reading like this, and you will have six, seven, eight, or 10 questions, 12 questions only from one article. And you will have the three types. The ones for accept, uh, okay. The, okay. the one for interpretation, the one for specific information. You will have the three types of questions in each of the article, okay? And you will have other parts where uh, they only take an excerpt. An excerpt means only a piece, only a small piece. So in this moment, what we're going to do is with your partners, only we are going to read this article, the one that is here with your partner. You can read, make it bigger if you like, whatever you, is necessary. This is the, the panspermia. And mm -hmm. then you are going to explain in your own words what you understand. Here, yes. Here, we're going to read all of the article. And then you tell your partner what you understand in your own words. Okay. It's okay? Yes. All right.
Okay. So, how are we? It's okay? That was fast. <laughs> a little yeah. fast, right? It, I it, haven't finished the read. Okay. And that was seven minutes. Yes. That That's why I say that, that this is the difference because the test is for time is not like the normal. This is the, when you have an article or something you don't understand, you read again, you check, you look for, but in the exam, in the mm -hmm. only is for time. You have to try to answer as many answers as you can correctly. This is the most important strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, what did you understand? For You didn't finish. Okay, no problem. But from what you read, what did you understand? Mm -hmm. Are they talking about uh, animals, fish? Hypothetic. Uh, uh -huh. no. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. Uh -huh. uh, situation. It, Gina yeah. knows more about yeah. it. Just I I I I read it. Really, I don't know, but I, maybe I like it that that the chapter because it's about that. Okay, the life is not begin and, and the began on the air. Maybe there are the other, but I need to read what it is about that. Hey, there are, they, they talk about the, for example, the, uh, I don't know, maybe the other, uh, it's not universe, but the other, uh, I don't know, planet, but the idea is talk about the ultraviolet is, uh, 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 it's like a, Maybe generate uh, some some problems about the life. Okay. <laughs> but I, I need to read more. <laughs> don't worry, Gino. Don't worry. That's the purpose. That's the function. It's okay. <laughs> We're going to pause. Tomorrow we read again and we have time to have a little bit of analysis to practice here so that we can prepare better. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. Good night, see you, everyone. teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.